Amethyst quartz, ruby, sapphire, pearls, and of course, <laughs> the infamous gold coin. Is king, I would say. <laughs> hmm. All right, thief. I can smell you. I can feel your air. Come out of hiding. <laughs> oh, you don't have to be shy around me. Human, I won't hurt you. <laughs> Not too much, anyway. <laughs> no. No. Really? Didn't your mother ever tell you not to linger in one's doorways? It's rude. One might even start questioning your upbringing. <laughs> there you are, little thief. <laughs> Oh, what's the matter? Have you never seen a chimera before? Then consider, Denanda, that you have seen one as well bred and well kept as me. <laughs> Let me guess, judging by your roguish attire. The weapon that you hold trembling at your side, not to mention the crest, in the form of a brooch that you keep on your cloak, you're here from the house of seven scorpions, <laughs> and you're here to try and take my treasure <laughs> tell me human what do they call you <laughs> what a common plain name but it does suit a human like you. <laughs> you may call me Andrea Cor, for that is my name. <laughs> now riddle me this, human. How much is the house of seven scorpions paying you to come slay me? Don't be modest. You can tell me. Hmm. <laughs> Why to pay you such a paltry fee for slaying me? I think you could do much better than that. After all, all this treasure belongs to me. I could easily set you up with a more profitable offer, as it were. <laughs> oh no, 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 human. You're the first one I've ever made this offer to. What happens? Oh. <laughs> you see, all my other 
intruders. As they were, I killed them. Well, it wasn't always instantaneous. I mean, if I breathed fire upon every single human who came into my treasure lair, then that'd get very boring really quick. So sometimes I'd play with them. A little old um, arachnia and fly sort of situation. I believe you mortals call it cat and mouse. Tch, not trivial. But when I got bored of playing with them, I'd slaughter them. <laughs> oh, you've heard of my reputation on the surface. Did you really honestly expect me to be a good person? This is my treasure. My hoard, my lair in this dungeon, and I will not part with a single piece of it. Not a single gold coin, and not a single ruby, unless I choose to be generous. Now then. Ugh. I hate getting riled up, I really do. But you humans just feel the need to waltz right into this dungeon and into my lair like you own the place. And you try to take my gold as though it belongs to you. It is a repulsing, disgusting habit of your kind and I loathe you for it. <laughs> But you, my roguish human, you have potential. You could easily walk away and never go to the House of Seven Scorpions again. <laughs> After all, my treasure hoard amounts to much more than that paltry sum of 12 platinum pieces they were intending to pay you with. Provided you actually finished the job, of course. <laughs> Why do I have something against the House of Seven Scorpions? Let's just say the, uh, the head of that house isn't exactly as semi-benevolent as he would lead you to believe. I mean, at the end of the long and complicated story that it is, my mother did find someone who eventually did, you know, someone who was worthy of her, but let's just say sometimes things happen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes star-crossed lovers are meant to stay star-crossed, never to be, and sometimes it ends in really horrible ways. Anyway, enough about my personal beef with the House of Seven Scorpions. For that matter, how did you even get down here? I'm being serious. My treasure hoard is on the 14th floor of this dungeon. Mm. Of course, you would take the secret pathways. Ugh, figures. You're tenacious, though, and the fact that you made it all the way down here is, you know, somewhat admirable. If it wasn't the 3,000th time I've had someone visit me. <sighs> but still, that does beg the question. Why did you even accept that this, uh, 
fool's errand from the House of Seven Scorpions to kill me and take my treasure hoard. <laughs> Figures. Did you know they're not all benevolent in sweetness? Well, again, they're only somewhat benevolent, so bittersweet is the more appropriate term. Well, I know some things you don't. Oh, for example, that they are in league with a family known as, known by the crest of Montague. <laughs> oh, oh, my sweet, naive human thief. Who are the Montagues? It would be wise for you never to meet one in person. If you think the House of Seven Scorpions is bad, oh, the Montagues are much, much worse. And they do a lot worse. Of course, I'd be happy to tell you all their secrets that I know of. <laughs> For a price, of course. <laughs> mm hmm. That's right. Rumor has it the Montague family's been around for many, many years. Oh, I'm not being facetious. Rumor has it they've been around for 13 and a half centuries. And keep in mind, human, this is after the, the age of the astronomer, when he was defeated by those great heroes. I can't remember all their names, but from what I heard by rumors, I believe the tiefling known as Samarexis Fidenis Kylum III married the cleric and took her to wife. I believe her name was Theatira Adar. Of course, I could be wrong. But, yes. And rumor has it the family known as Montague were so powerful because... Of the bargains they've made. Rumor has it they've made bargains with some old, old ancient powers. <laughs> Last I heard, I believe their son was currently wandering around the dungeon of Resquire. That's what I said. I've told you everything I know, and now that you know, well, what I'm doing next, I'm doing it as a favor of sorts. Yes, you see this? It's for you. Let's see. Hmm. Two Cancerian doubloons and one Arisian copper. Let's see, yes. And... Mm, a Cretian Toro, for good measure. I told you, human. I don't share with thieves, but if I give my treasure willingly to someone, then I give it to them willingly, and that's another matter. Here. Take that, and I'd suggest getting out of this dungeon, getting as far away from here as possible. <laughs> you think you could report the family of Montague to anyone and live? Sweetheart, now that you know what you know, 
it's best if you just disappear. Because if you don't find some other residence to live, the Montagues will make you disappear. One way or another. You'll take all those secrets to your grave. Now, are you sure you want to be foolish and reckless? And challenge them? <laughs> I thought not. Now then. Here. Go straight down this cavern and you'll find a boat. It was from the last group of adventurers who tried their luck with me. You follow the water current, it'll take you at least to the edge of the third floor of the dungeon. And surely enough, by then you will be able to find your own way out. Alright. Chimera kisses for good luck. And now get out of here. I hope we never see each other again, because if I do see you again, well then that'll mean the end of you. <laughs> no, I won't kill you. I've come to like you, but if you ever come down here again of your own accord, and I ever see you again, then someone else will do much worse to you. Now get out of here. Go! Good luck, human. You're going to need every bit of it.